How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nobile Tech and today I'm going to show you how to check your iPhone real battery health. So this number, this percentage that you see right next to maximum capacity, which indicates how healthy or how degraded your battery actually is. And I'm saying the real battery health because as we all know, iOS doesn't really predict the maximum capacity all that well. It's super common to see this number way too high or way too low and sometimes this number is just not updated after many, many months. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can actually check for real. Let's get started. Okay, so all you have to do is open up your settings and scroll quite a bit down until you get your privacy and security and then scroll a bit further down all the way actually until you get your analytics and improvements. And all we need is to tap on analytics data. And we're gonna see a bunch of reports right here, but the ones that we actually want are the analytics. As you can see, they're created every single day. So for example, this one, the 1st of July, 2nd and 3rd, and the analytics report that you wanna get is the latest one, the closer to your current day. Right? In my case, it's July the 3rd. And I know many of you guys are gonna say, Daniel, I don't have the analytics reports at all. I just don't see this. If that's your case, go back and check if share iPhone and watch analytics is enabled because if it's disabled, you won't have it, right? So enable it and then just wait a couple days and it will show up. Now, if you already have it on and you still don't see the analytics, Again, wait a couple days. Sometimes it happens that these reports are not created. It's rare. Sometimes it happens. So just wait a couple days and it will show up. I guarantee you, all right? All right, so tap on the latest analytics report and then you see a bunch of tax and information that just seems random, right? But what we wanna do is actually select this whole tax. We're gonna select and copy this whole analytics, right? So tap and hold anywhere and then you're gonna have the selection right here and then you're gonna pull down and pull up and of course now we're gonna need to go ahead and manually select all the way down right it may be a little bit tricky as you can see right here but you get the hang of it you get the position sometimes you may want to try again and again until you get to the bottom to a point where it actually starts going down right so let's be patient Sometimes it's hard. I've done it multiple times and I still struggle sometimes. So it may be tricky. So let's keep trying. There we go. So as you can see, it starts moving. It starts moving pretty slow, right? But it will pick up speed. So wait. Yep, there we go. It's picking up speed right now. And as you can see from the slider, it's already really fast. We're already halfway there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't let go, go all the way down. And then of course, as you move, the selection is right here. And that's enough. You don't need to actually uh, pick this last line, no problem at all, all right? So go ahead and copy. So then we have successfully copied the whole analytics. And then we're gonna go ahead and open your notes and then open up a blank note, as you can see right here, tap on it, tap on it once again and paste it. It's gonna take a few seconds, so like three to five seconds to show up because it's a ton of tax, but wait, it will show up. Yep, there we go. So we've got here the whole analytics. And of course, we won't be taking a look at this manually. So what we wanna do is tap on the three dots right there at the top and then find in note because we just want one specific line on this whole thing. And the, the one line we want is called last underscore, I'm gonna have it on the screen, right? So it's easier for you. So last value underscore once again, cycle, and then, yeah, it's gonna take some time, so there you go. So last value cycle count, that's the one that we want. And we already see it right here, so last, value cycle count and the number right next to it is the number that we want that's it jackpot 628 and what this number indicates is how many cycles our iphone battery has ran has went through 628 so what do we actually do with that information 
Well, that's all we need because if we actually go ahead and open up this website, which is from Apple support, as you can see, about the battery and performance of iPhone 11 and later, and we actually scroll down quite a bit on this document, we've got here a pretty interesting information. So batteries of iPhone 14 models and earlier are designed to retain 80% of their original capacity at 500 complete charge cycles. So what this is telling us is after 500 cycles, our iPhone battery needs to be at 80% of maximum capacity. So our battery health needs to be at 80%. And as you can probably tell, this is way wrong on this iPhone, right? Because if we got here 628, let's calculate the real maximum capacity. So if I pull up my calculator and then I go ahead and go for 628, and we're gonna do this with your number, your cycle count that it got here on our calculation, right? So get your cycle count, and then you're gonna actually multiply by 20, because after 500 cycles, we lose 20%, divided by 500. So what this is telling us is that I actually lost 25.12% of my battery health. So if I go minus 100 and then go positive, my actual maximum capacity is 74.88. Of course, I'll have this little equation, this little calculation here in the description, okay? So 74.88 versus what my iPhone is actually telling me, which you already saw in the intro, right? On battery and battery health, 86%. So this is way off. This is over 10% off. And if you ask me, this number right here, 74%, is way more accurate than 86 because in real life if you take a look at this in the last 10 days this iphone battery performance is so bad i'm getting here for example uh 13 minutes of screen active time with over 35 percent of battery usage it gets worse like i got here three minutes of screen active time with a little bit over 20 percent can you imagine losing 20% of your battery, and here I'm talking about battery usage, right? So this battery right here. So losing over 20% in three minutes. So that's why I'm telling you guys that this number is way more accurate than what we see in the iPhone settings because this battery performance is really, really bad on this iPhone 14 Pro, right? Now, there's one very important thing that I wanna leave to the end is if you're calculating this for an iPhone 15 series, so iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, or 15 Pro Max, which is this case right here, you're gonna do the exact same calculation, but use 1,000, okay? Consider 1,000 in the little equation, because batteries on the iPhone 15 series and up are way better than on the 14 series, they last much longer, so instead of losing 20% of your maximum capacity after 500 cycles, you will lose after 1000 cycles, so it should last double the time. So take that into consideration if you're doing this for an iPhone 15 or later, batteries are just way much better and then they will last much longer, losing way less capacity on day-to-day -day use, all right? So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.